The 2006 to 2015 Education Master Plan, launched under the administration of former President Olusegun Obasanjo, was meant to fashion out new policies that would enable the sector emerge from its declining status, especially on issues pertaining to Nigeria's education for all policy, infrastructural decay occasioned by institutional and legislative constraints. But with the expiration of the policy in 2015, the Minister for Education stresses the need for a new strategic plan. While the world is producing knowledge professionals, as I tell you, we are grappling with students out of school at the primary, secondary, and at the tertiary level, we are only able to admit 17 to 18 percent of students who qualify. For this reason, many people believe that the whole country, not just emergency areas, need a Marshall Plan. What we have produced is not a Marshall Plan, but it is the foundation upon which a Marshall Plan can be built. The Director, Department of Educational Planning, Research and Development, highlights the focus of the strategic plan. We are faced with a myriad of problems in the education sector, among which are low access to basic education. We've had the long drawn and vexed issue of 10.5 million out of school children, depreciating quality of education over the years. Many children at basic level they are in school but cannot read or write. For the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, the falling standard of education is traceable to the failure of the past governments to regulate the teaching profession. For a long time, the education sector has been bastardized. And anybody interested in academics will appreciate what I'm saying. The new strategic plan, when adopted and implemented by the experts, is expected to arm the nation's youths with the skills they require to face the challenges of the 21st century.